More than baseball will be happening at Keesler Federal Park soon. The Biloxi Shuckers, in partnership with Ground Zero Blues Club, are putting on Biloxi's Grand Slam Jam. It's coming up this October, and here to talk about this and what other events might be on the rising, plus all the exciting events always happening at the stadium. Biloxi Shuckers General Manager Hunter Reed. Hunter, thanks for joining us. We're going into the 4th of July uh, week this week. It's a holiday week, and it's exciting time for the Biloxi Shuckers. You're jam-packed with activities. Uh, games still ahead as we're uh, this is, show is on Sunday, but you've got games coming up on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Big fireworks coming up on Wednesday to celebrate the 4th of July. That's right, July July 3rd this year. Uh, it's our, our annual Independence Day fireworks extravaganza. We're, we're super excited about it. It's always a packed house uh, for that event, and so we're really looking forward to doing that again. But, uh, but yeah, a lot, a lot of exciting things happening at the ballpark for sure, and this is going to be uh, you know, a big highlight for the whole year. Yeah, uh, Fourth of July week always brings out some of the big crowds. Why do you think that is? Why do you think people mark this on their calendar every year to make baseball a part of the holiday? Yeah, I think it becomes an annual tradition for, for a lot of folks to enjoy, you know, the American holiday and sports and, uh, and baseball. You know, what's, uh, what's better than having a hot dog and a, and a soda or beer at the ballpark on uh, on July 3rd, July 4th, and, right. and celebrating with some fireworks at the end of the game. Right. Whenever, whatever the game falls on, whether it's July 3rd or July 4th, it is typically your largest crowd of the season, usually, right? Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. It's, it's definitely uh, definitely one of the ones that we can kind of count on that's, uh, that's always uh, attended very well and, and people enjoy a lot. But, yeah, it usually uh, packs the house. The last, uh, last few years has definitely sold out the park, so. So, you know, we're talking about baseball in the middle of the baseball season, and that's what's going on at the baseball stadium, of course. But this concert is coming up in October. We just learned new details about it, calling it the Grand Slam Jam with artists uh, like Chapel Hart, Tim Duggar, and uh, Tab Benoit coming in in partnership with Ground Zero Blues Club. It's been a while since we've had music in the ballpark. How does, it, how does this all come together? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really exciting to be able to do this and to kind of, uh, you know, kick off this, this portion of, you know, using the facility this way. Um, yeah, it, we partnered with Ground Zero Blues Club and great partners of ours, and uh, we're looking forward to, you know, to bringing this together. More information to come. Certainly, you mentioned some of the artists. We're excited to have them. Uh, ticket information will be coming soon. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun and something that we hope that we can continue to develop and grow. How much interest from the community and other people was there about bringing in a concert like this to the stadium? Oh yeah, it's definitely something that we've, we've heard a lot about uh, in my time that I've been here. And it's certainly something that we've been working towards and wanting to get done. Uh, and so we're really excited to, you know, to, to do this, this and, and kind of make sure that uh, we do everything uh, you know, as good as we can and, and get it get it going off on the right foot and hopefully bring back many more in the future. Yeah, and from a revenue standpoint and profit making, uh, how important is it to have another event like this come in besides a baseball event? Oh, sure. Well, you know, we we want, you know, we want events at the, at the stadium. We want events there and, uh, you know, we just but we want to have the right events, you know, and so we're going to continue to try to bring in the right events and events that people are wanting to come to and enjoy and see them. Yeah, we certainly want to put the facility to good use. And uh, the ballpark with a new name just in the last few months, uh, Keesler Federal uh, Park is what we're calling it now. And uh, how's that partnership been so far? It looks like it helped in getting the concert. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they've been obviously a great partner of ours for, for a long time. Yeah. And uh, so we're excited to, to partner with uh, Keesler Federal Credit Union and uh, look forward to continuing to develop that into the future. And look, there's a lot of exciting things happening at the park, too, uh, you know, with the renovations that we had going on. And, and so it's a great time for them to come in. Uh, you know, with the Corona Premier Tiki Bar, the, the Schooner Splash Zone by Gulf Breeze Landscaping, and the Boardwalk, the, the Wiffle Ball Field out front. We've, we've added a lot of new fun stuff. Uh, and as far as, you know, talk about these big crowds on, on July 3rd, you know, to alleviate some of the pressure on the concession stands, we've, we've redone some of those, and we've added some grab-and-go stations where people can do a self-checkout. Okay. So there's a, a lot of positive things there that not only will help for, you know, baseball events, but any other events that we do like these, uh, like the Grand Slam Jam. Yeah, they come in and the upgrades of the stadium, uh, they are, are really looking fantastic. The Tiki Bar in the outfield, that's a really cool concept. And you've also had different logos uh, to kind of build interest uh, this season. How's that gone? How has that gone? And uh, why are, are you trying out some different names like that? Yeah, that, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, the Bluxy Beach Chickens, the Bluxy King Cakes, uh, those were two of our alternate identities that we, we started working on. Uh, you know, a couple, a couple years ago, really, is when we started working on them. And it just takes a little while to kind of pull those all together. But it's something that's been very popular across minor league baseball. Uh, there is, uh, we have heard some concern about people being uh, concerned that the Shuckers name would go away. It's not. 
we're, the Sharkers are going to be here to stay. Uh, but it's just a fun alternate identity to use for a few times a year and uh, you know, have some fun uniforms. And look, minor league baseball is about having a lot of fun, and that's what we're trying to do. And we're having fun right now. Shockers are here to stay. And uh, real quick, as far as college baseball coming in next season, is Mississippi State committed to coming again? We are looking forward to having Mississippi State back here again, and uh, certainly that's an area where we're uh, going to continue to try to bring in more events as well. So uh, stay tuned on that. Okay, do you feel like we'll have other teams in here, or we're just that's too early to see? It, we're, we're working on it. Working we're on working it. on okay. it. Hopefully some good announcements will, will come up here uh, you know, as we move along. Okay. But looking forward to it. A lot on the horizon there at uh, the uh, baseball stadium in downtown Biloxi. Hunter Reed with the Biloxi Shockers. Thank you for joining us and have good luck this week with uh, the 4th of July crowds. Thank you. Hugh. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us here this morning for WLOX News This Week. I'm Hugh Keaton. Have a great holiday week ahead.